That's true. Well, one thing I've definitely noticed is that you've quite won quite a few awards. Um, a lot of awards. Yeah, you've won a, few, a lot of awards. You won Entrepreneur of the Year at a point. What would you say? You're talking about how creative arts is imprisoned, especially yeah. in our part of the world. Yeah. But winning these awards, would you say that it is proving you wrong in a certain way? Would you say that it's increasing or gaining you some experience, some popularity? Okay, so if I tell you that being a designer, my first award was not from Ghana. Mm. How about that? Wow. Yeah. I have 29 awards, mm. and if I can tell you that, okay, let's say, let's say it's 14, mm. it's not from Ghana. Mm. And my first award for being even a designer over five years was not from Ghana. Mm. How about that? Yeah. You get me? Mm. So it can't prove me wrong. Mm. It, they, they have to recognize that happening with the outside, mm. for the inside to believe in what we are doing. Mm. That's why I said you have to do a lot. Mm. You have to do something that goes beyond the borders, mm. before the people inland we know that something happened beyond the borders. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you say that these awards have gained you some form of fame? Or what would you say you've benefited from these awards? Oh, I think the impact. Because mm -hmm. I believe in the impact and fame. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how popular I will come and speak mm -hmm. of me being a stylist or a designer. Mm -hmm. It's about the impact. How many people are touched by my movement, mm -hmm. by my activities? That is yeah. the main thing. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I will say I'm very impactful mm. for people who have come across. And I know that even after this interview, you see me differently. Mm. That is what I'm saying. We are, we 